back to my channel. I know I look terrifying. I just finished filming a video, so I promise this is a Disney video and not a Halloween one, okay? Okay. Ooh. Anyways, so today we are doing another I look inspired by Disney. Today we're doing Ariel. I want to be where the people are. No, I really don't. I really don't. I, no. No, thank you. Now I retract that statement. Anyway, so we are doing Ariel I look based on Ariel. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm really excited. Today is the like, same day I filmed the Scar videos. Still 25 days till Disney. But, uh, I don't know when this is going, but we'll either be in Disney or close to it. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. Um... Basically, if you haven't seen my other videos, so if you're new here, welcome, welcome. I'm going on a Disney trip pretty soon for my 20th birthday, and I want to go into the parks wearing cute Disney-inspired makeup because I'm too old to dress in the costumes in the park. Uh, so, we are going to do cute Disney-related makeup, but... I want to film and I want to share this tutorial with you. I want to share the makeup with you. But I don't want to have to wake up at ungodly hours and film tutorials and edit them and post them while I'm there. So we're going to film them now so that when I go to Disney I can just post cute pictures. So that is what we're going to do. And we are going to watch some Sam and Colby and destroy everything. We're going to watch this game. Sam and Colby investigate haunted some place. Haunt. It is 10 to midnight. I work tomorrow. Yeah. That's basically it. That's basically it. That's basically it. That's basically it. Okay, so I'm starting off using my absolute favorite foundation, or at least one of them, the Revolution Foundation X Concealer, or, and concealer. Absolutely love this one. Fan favorite. I used to use it all the time, and then I put it at the back of my collection and completely forgot about it. Same with this Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer. I mean, it is so amazing. I used way too much here, because you do not need that much. It is so, so full coverage and creamy. It's amazing. You really don't need that much. I just used way too much. But I put these at the back of my collection, completely forgot about them, retried them, and again, they are a fan fave. So here I'm using the Cash Beauty Sculpt Sticks. This is the bronze. I also use the blush and the highlight. I absolutely love cream products. They have a special place in my heart, especially in the summer. I love them a lot more just because if you don't really use them, I find that my face gets really like cakey if I just put powder on top of powder. And if I use like a cream and then set it with the powder, like lightly set it with the powder, I find that it doesn't get cakey and lasts throughout the day and it just looks a lot nicer. So of course when I go down to Disney and we're sweating and we're doing a lot of things, I don't really want to look cakey so that's why we do this. And here we're going in with the Mickey X Morphe palette. I just thought this was fitting to use a Disney palette for my Disney videos. And we're going with the purple, putting it right like in the crease and blending it upwards so that we can kind of get like a smoky eye and we're winging it out, making it all beautiful. And I'm just doing like small circular motions and back and forth to blend it out and like buff the edges. We just wanted to have a seamless edge and make it all pretty. So I'm kind of winging it out just so that it's Kind of like her tail, since we'll be adding the tail, I just thought it would be pretty to wing it out with the tail. So now we're going in with the darker purple and putting that right in the crease. And blending the two together while keeping the definition that the, pur the darker purple gives when it's in the crease and the lighter purple's above the crease. Does that make sense? I'm terrible with explaining things. But you can see that it gives a little bit of definition by adding that purple into the crease and bringing it into the wing, blending the two together. All right, and here I'm adding some green shadow, just packing that on just to keep the purple and green look because that's what, of course, Ariel has. Even though she does have some red, we add the red to other parts of the face. So I'm just packing on the green. 
I find that the green just packed on a lot nicer with my finger rather than the brush so I kind of used the brush to outline where I wanted it and then I packed it on. Here I'm taking a dark green shade on a pencil brush and making kind of a basic winged liner with it but blending it into the green as you can see. Just smoking that out. And I found that it worked a lot better to use a pencil brush like this one and just clean up the edges. Here you can see I am praying to the makeup gods that this is going to work. And I'm using a green aqua liner to carve out her tail and then I fill it in. This took forever because I kept messing it up, making it too thick, making it too thin. And then eventually I just ended up making it like not even look like a tail. It more looked like a two-pronged fork so I had to fix that. And I brought the line in so that the tail looked like it was complete rather than just having it at the edge. So I completely forgot that I was doing a talking video. My bad. I will voice over this. But I just took my aqua liner and added the green tail. Then I took my black eyeliner, the roller lash, did this like smallest line possible as close to a lash line as possible just so that when the lashes go on they blended applied some mascara these lashes are the naked drama from kiss i absolutely love them so we put those on added some purple underneath we took the um this eye pencil and put it in the waterline just to like you know connect the purple and now I'm going to take a little bit of my highlighter there's somebody walking around upstairs and it scared the absolute living daylight out of me um that somebody was moving around because sometimes I forget that I live in a one story and that there's people above me um or well I live in a two story but I live on the downstairs and sometimes I forget that there's people above me and it scares the crap out of me because I'm like, I live alone. Who's walking up there? Just the people that live up there are walking up there. Add the NYX lingerie. And here's the final look. I am actually really excited to wear this one in Disney. I love how this one turned out. I love purple and green as you can... Maybe tell? Okay, you can't tell. I have green underneath my hair. You can you can kind of see it, maybe, maybe, maybe. I need to redo it. Anyways, I love purple and green, so I love this look. Um, and I am very, very happy with how it turned out for being 12.40 in the morning. And I work tomorrow, so yeah. But I am so beyond excited about how this, turned one, this one turned out. I love it. I feel adorable. I have lipstick on my teeth. Anywho, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for coming along another video with me. And yeah, if you liked this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to the family. I'm so excited to be posting more content. And of course, let me know what your favorite Disney movie is. And if you don't have a favorite Disney movie, what's your favorite movie? My favorite Disney movie is obviously Night Before Christmas. It's literally the tattoos that I have. Um, I have another one here, but, um, I am, ex I, yeah, I love Nightmare Before Christmas. But yeah, let me know what your favorite movie is, and I'm so excited to be posting more of these, and definitely stay tuned if you like to follow my other socials, they're all linked down below as always, and thank you so, so much for watching. Love you all. Good night. Bye!